need you to introduce yourself with your name and your age. My name is Megan Pankratz and I'm 13 years old. I'm Evan Plummer and I'm 16. I'm Allison Pankratz and I'm 16. Hi, I'm Courtney. How old are you? I'm 19. I go to school and go to soccer practice and sometimes go to dance practice. I go to Memorial High School and learn very hard. Someone ate up all the blueberry bagels. I just took those out of the freezer so they might be still cold. Somebody froze all the regular bagels. That would be your dad. He has a knack for freezing things. <laughs> right. That's a problem. Hulk. Stop mocking me. And how do you feel about being home for the summer? Um, it's a little weird because I'm used to not seeing a bunch of people every day and being quiet, but otherwise it's good. So would you say our family is a normal family? No. <laughs> not normal. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because they're a bunch of us and they're all crazy. She got the floor. Megan deletes all our messages. That's a bad sign. Megan, who are you texting that you need to delete them? I delete all of them. Um, Why? I need space. I agree. I don't yeah, remember deleting that. Them. Them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's For that's all of her selfies she's taking. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you deleted all my bathroom selfies. <laughs> How dare you? She leaves the brick on the counter in the bathroom. What else am I supposed to do with it? Why are you pooping on the phone? Megan's phone. Megan's phone, not my phone. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> That's gross. That's her hot spot. <laughs> <laughs> really good service. <laughs> I only get service <laughs> underground. <laughs> Allison only gets service on the toilet. Yeah, FaceTime on the toilet. Well, Courtney FaceTime me once from in the shower. And how do you feel about your relationship with your siblings? Um, it's good. Sometimes I want to punch them, but usually we're pretty good. Here's the thing. So we only have first, second, and third, and fourth hour today. So she's going to skip first hour. I don't want to hear a message on the machine that says, your daughter. I'm skipping fourth oh, so hour. Right, grass. Anything that includes skipping typically isn't endorsed by the school district. <laughs> <laughs> I have world studies, and he said if I was done with my project and I turned it in, and got it back. We didn't have to be in class the rest of the thing. time. We have the library and read. Well, I'll go to the library and go. Do you have home. any bees in your classes? I mean, what? Like honeybees? Yeah, because Evan needs to write home. I think. Do you have any bees, Allison? Like bees or bees? What if you are sipping food? What's this fourth hour about? <laughs> what are you going to do for fourth do you hour? Think he knows. <laughs> <laughs> Evan, what? This is, there's a lot of money riding on this. What's your fourth hour class? We're skipping. <laughs> By the way, actually though, so after third hour, meet me by the gym, right? <laughs> All right, that you win the money. <laughs> All of it, the whole. Wait, we're watching. Hour we're not. <laughs> What's Evan's fourth hour class? I said we're I bet skipping. he doesn't even know. What is it? Our dinner table conversations usually end up not talking about dinner, but something that normal people, if they're sitting around a table, would be like, uh, what? I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> Have you ever doubted your religious beliefs? No. And would you say your religious beliefs are 
um, agreed upon as a family or are they true to yourself? As a family? At least, probably. Yes. And would you say those are individual doubts or were they fueled by your family? Uh, both. Um, can you explain? Um, like doing my own research, not research, but doing my own like reading of different things and of learning about different things. That is one thing that made me doubt. And then also my family f force, like forcing mm -hmm. me to do stuff um, made me also not want to do it or not believe. Okay. Well, religion is a key thing, so it obviously makes me who I am. Is this an individuality, uh, individual belief, or would you identify this as a belief of the family? Individual. Our family is not really into the whole God thing. Have you ever questioned your religi religi religious beliefs? Well, I feel like everybody has a certain amount of question inside them, but it's nothing that's really break it or make it. Um, how do you think your gender plays into your identity? Um, well, obviously, since I am a girl, I mainly do more girl stuff, like go to dance class and and more loving because girls normally are more caring and loving and stuff. How, how do you think your gender plays a role into your identity? I feel like limits what I can do, but also expands other things that I can do. Okay, can you explain that a little bit? Um, like, for example, I can't play volleyball for a school sport, but I can join the Gen um, the the aspiring gentlemen's club. How does being a female influence your identity? Well, I go into the girls' locker room and do stuff that girls do. How would you say being female has contributed to traditional gender roles? Well, typically females don't play certain sports and are more gossipy and that would contribute to what I do, I guess. God. Do you feel a different relationship between your brother and your step-siblings? Um, not really because, I mean, my brother's a boy so I beat him up anyways, whereas like, I wouldn't really beat you guys up, but that's because you guys are really boys and you don't really fight like that. Okay. And throughout um, your life, have you been taught traditional gender roles or would you say growing up everything has pretty much been gender neutral? Probably gender neutral. And why would you say that? Well, because like, girls in our family still mow the lawn. And it's not as like, oh, we're a girl, we have to make our bed. Everyone has to make their bed. And do you think you were raised in a way that was fairly open to gender rules? Or do you think that they were pretty cut and dry? Cut and dry. Okay. Would you react to someone who defied gender stereotypes and was gender neutral or ambiguous of the opposite gender? I'd probably support them. Um, how would you react to someone who didn't stick to trans traditional gender roles? I'd be fine with it. And as a large-scale society, do you think we're changing our views towards um, our gender identities? Not as quickly as I hope, okay. or as I wish. And do you feel that our society as a whole um, prefers cut-and-dry <coughs> descriptions of identity, or are we flexible with our definition? cut and dry only because people are afraid of what they don't exactly know. Like, you don't know who that guy is because he may identify as a female or dress up like a female or use gender neutral terms like they or it and them or whatever. And that makes it hard for everybody else to understand and it's kind of awkward calling somebody a them. 
how would you say your identity would um, contribute to the relationships you form with other people? Either friendship wise or intimately wise? Well, normally I pick people that are very nice and caring to be my friends so then they don't make me like be bad and stuff. What would qualify as being bad? I don't know, like if they like vandalized and stuff. So if you broke the law? Yeah, if we broke the law or if we like tease people. Do you think the law is morally ambiguous? Or is it cut and dry? I think it's cut and dry. And you're the only member of our children in the family who's in a relationship. Do you feel your um, relationship contributes to your identity? Yes, lots. And what would you say it contributes as? Uh, uh, what do you mean? Like, are there any traits that accompany that make you better in your relationship that have made you look at yourself differently? Um, socially more capable, if that makes sense. Uh, just lots of things. More social. That's okay. me. All right. And how would you say that your identity sh shapes who you want to be within five years? I think it shapes who I want to be in five years by letting me know what kind of like job I want to like do so I can take the correct classes in college and high school so then I know what I'm going to do when I grow up. And is there any, where do you see your identity progressing towards in five years? Um, very social, very accepting. Um, where do you see yourself identifying within five years? Well, in five years, I will hope to be in college and doing some interesting projects like you are right now. And hopefully being successful and getting a degree in something or another. And have and this is the beginning of your adolescence. Do you see yourself changing um, your views on your own identity as you continue to progress? Yeah, they probably change a little bit. Okay. Have you noticed any changes in your identity um, up until this point of your life? No. And have, through your own adolescence, have you witnessed your identity and how you identify with others changing? Yes. I feel like as you become more mature, you get friends that are less arrogant and more self-pleasing. <laughs> How do you feel about um, now as a 19-year-old compared to your 16-year-old self? Is there anything you've realized progressing forward in age? Um, I feel like I just get along with everyone better because I realize that, I don't know, better to get along with people. <laughs> I, I don't know, I guess. It's um, more important to, yeah, establish family relationships instead of just... With a punch. <laughs> <laughs>
You go back to your crate. Yeah. <laughs> I live in the Downstairs. basement with no windows. <laughs> go to the box of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Megan used to live under the table. <laughs> yeah. You can come out now. Bojo. Ready? Turn the volume up. <laughs>